All right, guys, so a filmer Brian Ames told me a story the other day, and it gave me a good idea because he's like a grandpa. He literally tells stories. I was like, wow, this is kind of entertaining. So I wanted him to tell you guys that. Brian, your first story, okay? What, did, what happened when you were living in that one apartment and you were backing out onto the road? Oh, so I was leaving. Set the mood, though, okay? Set was, the mood. I was leaving my apartment. It was like a warm summer night, you know? Leaving my apartment. I don't remember exactly where I was going. But I backed out. Window down. Nice night. It was like dusk. Yeah. You know, something's going down. So I back out slowly, pull into the road, windows down, start driving. I was getting like a text message at the time, so I was kind of driving slowly. I look up. So just set the you were driving and texting. At the same I was time. driving and texting. I was moving real slow though. Hey, at least you could at least you could admit it. So I look up, and outside my window there's a deer pacing my car directly next to my window as I'm driving down the street. Yeah. And for some reason, my first inclination was to punch the deer in the face. <laughs> so I punched the deer in the face while driving a car down the street. How how is that you're so if I surprise you randomly you're gonna punch me in the face? I don't know. That was the first my first thought. Like it's right next to the window, <laughs> jogging with me. I just punched it in the face. I and what did it, it do? It ran away. Clearly, it was just like oh, I got punched in the face by this bearded guy. I'm it, didn't, run. it didn't make a noise or anything like this. It wasn't like ow. Like, deer's like are a probably deer tough, did, like, man. Deer, deer talk. Did it hurt your fist? No. Was, really. was, was it comfortable? Like a, I, was I, remember, I hit it like in the lip. I remember. <laughs> so it kind of like squished a little bit. I remember hitting the lip. Dude, you're horrible. I know. I punched a deer. Are you an? Do you think? Do you feel you, that you are an animal person? I'm definitely an animal person. But does you do you like deer? Like, if there's a baby I deer. Another, here, I got another. I got another. deer, but the deer kind of had it coming. Because <laughs> he was walking next to your car. I don't know, man. Well, I, you know, I could have like not seen him and like ran him, out, ran him over or something like that. That's true. So I kind of like. <laughs> you warned scared, him. I warned him. I, war I walked out of away from me. So you punched him to warn him from getting hit by a car. Yeah. All right. That was better than run him over. I guess. Story time with Brian Ames. Hey. You messed up a feeble a few videos ago. Do you yeah. wanna do you wanna redeem yourself and go do a feeble in the warehouse? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. This video is sponsored by Amskater. Get all your skateboard needs at amskater.com. High five. We had a little Doug shout out there, didn't we? This is a revenge skateboard. It is. It is. That's that's the truth right there. I found out a new th dude. These chairs are great, Brian Ames. You, you should try this. You should push yourself around in these chairs. I feel like I should be sitting. <laughs> you didn't even see it. You didn't even see it, did you, Brian? That didn't work how I wanted it to.